Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rosalba. I'm really happy today because I have finished the artwork for my fourth book. Here it is. So I thought I would tell you before I continue to on to the next stages of my fourth book. I, I thought I would give you a very, very useful, a very handy tip. If you are thinking of starting your children's picture book, I thought you need to think about the size of your book. And um, I wish someone had told me about it, which is you need to think about the size, about the format of your book. When I started illustrating and painting, I was so enthusiastic that I just didn't think that there was anything to it and I just began to paint. So as a consequence, we have this book in this little, in this small size and in a very strange format. One of the problems I had was that I couldn't change the, the, the format from landscape to portrait. And the problem was that Amazon, where I was publishing it on, um, couldn't do anything about it. To, to help me out with this, which meant that this was the only size that they could do and the only uh, format which is landscape and as a consequence it can only be sold in the UK and not worldwide. The reason why is because in the UK they have a wide variety of printing machines whereas for example in other countries perhaps Australia they may only have the standard size for printing. So I thought, right, I do not want to have that problem for my next books. So I'll show you here how my next books were able to be printed in a portrait format because I made sure that I painted in, in, in a, you know, I took into account painting in a portrait. Um, uh, in, a, in, a, in a portrait sort of a way rather than just painting in landscape. So this is the largest standard size possible uh, which in which I wanted my book to be printed on. So, um, so the tip that you need to think is that you need to think this beforehand. So, if you come closer, I'll show you with my artwork what I have been doing. How I started to paint. So, I make sure that I was, that my book was going to be printed in 11 inches by 8.5 inches. So, I made sure that I paint it with that in mind. This is, the ratio is slightly bigger because you have to take into account three millimeters extra uh, either way for the bleed, for the bleeding. Otherwise, there is a danger that in the printed process, uh, the part of the illustrations uh, is going to be chopped off or come out as white or something goes wrong with it. I will explain a little bit more about it uh, another time, but for now I just wanted you to think about the size before you start painting. So although my painting here is uh, the ratio is slightly larger, uh, I have taken that into account and made sure that I painted in a portrait way rather than um, landscape which is how I did my first book. So um, these are some of the illustrations and they have just written uh, where this page is going to go in the book which will be part of my next video. 
So um, anyway, I hope that this has been helpful for you to see what you need to consider before you even start painting. If someone had told me that uh, before I started, that would have been incredibly helpful. Uh, perhaps the video is out there, I didn't see it, I couldn't find it. Or uh, perhaps I was overly enthusiastic and jumped without into it without actually uh, doing the research first. But just in case, I thought I would make this video in case you find it helpful. In my next video, I shall be telling you more about how you need to organize your text, uh, um, how you need to match the text to the right pages and so on. So if you want to find out more about it, please stay tuned for my next videos, which will come soon. So thank you for watching. That's all for now. Thank you. Bye-bye.